Hey everyone, welcome to JLS Gaming. I'm Will, AK LaSalle, and today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the Neo Geo Mini International Edition. Uh, this is the Pro Gear Spec Advanced Entertainment System, celebrating SNK's 40th anniversary, rated T for teen. And again, this is a Neo Geo Mini. Here's the top of the box, right? Showing you Neo Geo Mini International Edition. Here's the side of the box showing you that 40 games are included, the Legacy Lives On, the Neo Geo Mini. Here's the other side, just a reversal of the same picture um, that was on the other side art. Bottom doesn't have anything, just a fold. And then we get into the back of the box. 40 Neo Geo Masterpieces. This includes Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug 3, Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 4, Metal Slug 5, King of the Monsters, King of the Monsters 2, Sengoku 3, Magician Lord, Blues Journey, Shock Troopers, Shock Troopers Second Squad, Robo Army, Cross Swords, Mutation Nation, Three Count Bout, The King of Fighters 95, 97, 98, 2000, 2002, Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury Special, Real Bout Fatal Fury, Guru Mark of the Wolves, Samurai Showdown 2, Samurai Showdown 4, Samurai Showdown 5 Special, The Last Blade, World Heroes Perfect, Kizuno, Kazuna Encounter, Ninja Masters, Top Players Golf, Super Sidekicks, Football Frenzy, Blazing Star, Last Resort, Ghost Pilots, and Puzzled. Again, this is the Neo Geo Mini International set, and it includes one console, one power cable, two meters, three decorative stickers, and uh, the instruction manual. Rated teen, it's got blood, suggestive themes, violence. Then it has a cancer warning in there, which is like, okay. But anyway, let's get right in and open this up. It's got uh, three of these little uh, stickers. So what I like to do when I'm unboxing with those kind of stickers is I turn around and just, instead of cutting, I just peel them back, fold them um, within each other, just in case, right? Just try to keep it because I try to avoid having anything and sticker residue and anything that's going to compromise the box um, in case I want to have it for some kind of collectability. All right, show now. Now that we have that, we're opening this. And it seems the box is a little flimsy at that. And what we have in here, we'll put this to the side. It looks like here's the instruction manual, right? And this bad boy, this little bad boy. Here we have some more cardboard in here. Nothing really uh, hidden within the cardboard. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side. open up this box in a box and see what's in here. And what we have in here is a USB-C, right, uh, power cable. Some stickers, so let's take a look at that. Nice little Neo Geo SNK sticker. My son loves these. He puts them all over um, any of the devices he has in his room. We got this uh, Neo Geo Mini Pro Gear Spec sticker. Looking good. And we got this Neo Geo Mini sticker. Right? It has uh, Metal Slug, Samurai Showdown 2, King of Fighters 97, and Real Bout. Okay, that's pretty cool. We'll put that to the side. And we have the Neo Geo Mini Instructions, right? So this one is in multiple languages, being the uh, International Edition. So it has it in English, Dutch, French, um, Italian, Portuguese, can't make out that one, Spanish, 
and what I'm assuming is Chinese and Japanese. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So really thick just because it has all the translations, right? Uh, we'll go through the English real quick. And what the English is showing you is how to operate, right? It, this, is, this one can connect with external USBs. It tells you about the main menu and the UI, game operation, how you can work with one or two controllers, and the official website for any troubleshooting. Okay, so let's get to the real good part. So it comes in some, some plastic, and as you can see, it looks like it's plain Jane, and some of these stickers should go where the marquee goes, right? So what I would assume is you can put, let's say, Take that sticker out, put it right there. Let's see if it shows on the box. Yep, that's what it shows on the side. And it shows to it shows that on the side. It already has the graphic for the Neo Geo on the right and left. So I'm guessing you can put this sticker up here for the marquee. Right, looks pretty cool. And then um, what we turn around and you see the, 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 the joysticks, right? They got some click to them. Subscribe, please. You got select and start, and you got the little joystick. See the top? You see the side with a USB-C port that says two-player. On the left side, you have a USB-C port that says one-player. And then on the back, we have what looks like a micro HDMI a headphone jack and the DC in with an SMK power button. Again on the bottom we see that this is a made in China. This is Neo Geo Mini International. All right now we're going to get into some gameplay on this Neo Geo Mini. Let's look at the settings first. So here's where you can change language and it has um, all the aforementioned languages. You can sort it by default or recently played. You can adjust the brightness, adjust the volume. So that's pretty cool there. And this is help and your copyright information. Product is protected by copyright. Help, it shows you the Neo Geo Mini official website and a QR code for you to scan it. QR code for you to scan and get into the SNK Facebook. QR code to scan and get into the uh, SNK Twitter. Okay, let's get into some gameplay. So let's see how this works and let's try Metal Slug. And it looks like it has four credits for start. How to play. Gameplay looks pretty good. Got the heavy machine gun here. I haven't played this game in a while, but I think I'm doing pretty good. And to exit, you can hit start and select, and then 
exit. We got Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug X, 3, 4, 5, King of the Monsters, King of the Monsters 2. So let's try one more game. Show you how gameplay is on here. Try some Samurai Showdown. Again, credits for. Neo Geo, the future is now. A button light attacks. On guard. to do that oh man and he's coming back victory and again you exit so there you go pretty cool it's uh definitely playable um fun and it was an extreme value when i got it for 20 bucks I hear the controllers are super expensive to find, the secondary co controllers, external controllers. So I'll take a look at getting one of those in, give, a, give you guys a review of that. Thanks, everybody.